It means that you can really become part of the artwork. Not only are you standing beneath this beautiful piece that someone else created, but you are actually helping to interact with that work. So you're not only just holding your hand under a sensor, you're also becoming a part of that piece overall. Oh my gosh, thank you. This is cool. So this provides some information for the girls. This also gives you some That's sensory cool. toys. Not as cool as yours though. <laughs> and sunglasses. Some places are a little bit bright, right? And then earplugs as well. Um, so go ahead and place your hand just under here. Go palm face up all the way under. Look, all right. And then soon you're gonna see that's your heartbeat right there. Wow. You just wait a little bit longer until they widen up a little bit. And once all of these light bulbs around you have really started beating to your heartbeat, you can drop your hand. So now you're a part of the art piece as a whole. Oh, yeah, super, blue. super Blue is an EAC, so we are an experiential art center. We provide immersive and interactive artworks that are all within the technological art field. It's meant to provide a space for anyone and everyone to come in and really get to experience this new form of art, which is technologically based. How can you use in art space? We tend to use as many as we possibly can throughout here, and our artists really help us to create that space for it. So Team Lab actually uses the majority of them. In the first one, you actually get to touch the artwork. They're projection mapped works, projection mapped flowers that you get to go and touch the flowers. And as soon as you touch them, they wilt. Right now, we're currently in Rafael Ozano Hammer's piece, Post Topology. We're going to see also James Terrell's Gonsfeld work, which is called Aku. And lastly, Ez Devlin's piece, which is Forest of Us. On the ground, you're going to step on these flowers, and all those petals are going to fly away. But if you step on an open spot, you'll actually be able to bloom flowers. So I'm creating all of these flowers just by walking around. And you can do the same thing on the wall too. So this is a river, right? And if you stand in the river, you create an open spot and all the flowers start popping up. Who's Creator of Super Blue? Yeah. Yeah. So Super Blue was created by Mark Glimcher and Molly Dent Brocklers. They originally saw a team lab exhibition and decided that there was this pocket between gallery and museums that no one had really filled where you can interact with the artwork. And they created Super Blue, the first of its kind. So our sensory sessions are our first dive into inclusivity. We're really trying to build out a space where everyone feels comfortable. Uh, we understand that some of our spaces can be a little bit chaotic, so we wanted to create modified version, lowered light, lowered sound. Best seat in the house. Okay? Oh, yeah.
Bye.